In our last tutorial, we got some ball physics coded in and set up our paddles so that we can make the ball move in different directions by hitting it on different sides. In this next video, we are going to make our tiles destructible so that we can actually have some objectives in the game. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to actually create the blocks themselves. Let's head over to our hierarchy where we can right click, create a 2D object, and we're gonna make some squares. Using your rect tool, you can get the shape of it. And we want these to be roughly actually similar to the player in size and shape. You can select a color. I'm gonna start off with some green blocks. And the main thing you're gonna need here is a box collider. At this point, I can kind of move it up roughly where I'm gonna want it to go. And I'm gonna create a script for this one. So head down to your project window, right click, create C sharp script. We're gonna call this one block controller. Before we get into that script, I'm just gonna head up to my hierarchy, click on the square itself, and I'm gonna give this one a name. Let's call it block green. And I'm gonna add our component right off the bat here, block controller. Excellent. All right, let's get into that script. For the time being, this is going to be a very simple script. We'll just head down below our start and update methods and create an on collision enter 2D method. You can get this by typing in on and then hitting tab and it will generate the syntax for you. This method fires anytime anything collides with this object, but since our ball is the only thing that's ever going to hit these, we can very simply just write destroy game object and anytime anything collides with this object, it will destroy itself. Back in Unity, take a brief second to make sure that your block is indeed the size and shape that you want. I actually have decided to make mine just a little smaller so that the game isn't over so quickly. At this point, we're gonna make a prefab out of our block. That'll just save us trouble down the road. As we modify the block, it will automatically apply those changes to all of our blocks rather than having to do it to each one. So let's head down into our project window and then in our assets, let's create a new folder. And I'm just gonna call this one prefabs. We'll ultimately make one for each of our types of block, but just drag your block down here. You'll notice the color will go blue. That means it's now a prefab. And so anytime we make a change to the prefab here, we can automatically apply it to all blocks. I'm gonna use Command D to duplicate the block and just repeat that process to fill out the entire line. With that done, we can give it a test and you should find that whenever you hit a block, it automatically is destroyed. All right, working pretty nicely. In our next tutorial, we'll look at how to add a point system and we'll get some more blocks going on. But for the moment, that's all we're gonna get to in this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to click like or subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.